Hi there, my name's Sean and I work for Kinetic. Uh, have you ever wondered how and why massive objects such as ships, even though they're made of really heavy materials such as metal, float? Well, today I'm going to show you with a really simple experiment using blue tack and a bucket of water. So, simply put, this blue tack, if I drop it in the water now, it will fall. And this is due to something that was discovered 2,000 years ago by a guy called Archimedes and his principle of buoyancy. And what it states is that every object in water is subject to the buoyancy force. And this force is equal to the amount of water that is displaced or pushed away by the object. So with this ball of blue tack, uh, it's quite a dense bit of material, so it doesn't push, push away much water. And therefore the buoyancy force is less than the weight of the object and therefore it sinks. However, if I was to mould this shape into a larger object, which would, as a result, displace or push away more water, it would have a larger buoyancy force and therefore the object would float. And this is the principle that all ships operate on and every ship will have a line down the side of it called the plimsoll line and if the line uh, is above the water then the ship will float and if you load the ship with too much weight then it goes below the line and the ship will sink. So if I just put that on there now. So there you go. So we've got now essentially a ship which is floating because we've got, even though it's the same weight, it's a larger area and it's pushing away more water and the buoyancy force is making it float. Thank you.